your music, your station, CY4Y Radio. So another week, another local music load down. Plenty of guests coming for you over the next few weeks. But today, I'm joined by both Helen and Christine. They've come to talk about uh, the Windy Way charity and also Windy Stock that's coming up in September. So ladies, hello. 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 How are you doing? You well? Yes. Good well, stuff. You. So you've come for the local music load down tonight to talk about Windy Stock and also uh, the changes and the artists. Before we get into that, um, it's done by the, sort of the Windy Way Trust, isn't it? Do you want to tell That's me a little right. bit about the charity first? Yes, yes, we're a very small charity. Um, we support Windy Way Animal Rescue Centre. Um, we started up about five years ago, um, and a couple of years back I suggested we maybe had a little party in the meadow, oh, yeah. which became Windy Stock. Um, oh, fabulous. So it's progressed from there, really. Um, it's very small, family friendly. Uh, and it raises funds for Windy Way. Fantastic. So what does Windy Way as a charity, what does it actually do? I mean, we were talking a little bit before, it's, it's for animal welfare, isn't it, I think? Yes, yes. We rehome and rescue animals, um, horses, uh, cats, dogs, guinea pigs, rabbits mm -hmm. and chickens. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, we, we pick up things that people don't want and usually find a good home for them. Oh, that's um, fantastic. If we can't find a good home, we make a sanctuary for them. So oh, that's very things. good. So where, where did you say it was down on, it's actually down on Windy Way Farm, and you were saying that it's been around for how long, the actual charity? It's been around, uh, the, the actual place, Windy yeah. Way, has been around 52 years. Oh, wow. Um, it was originally owned by the Knoll family. Um, it's now owned by the Dorber family, mm -hmm. uh, and the whole family live on the farm. Um, the rescue is done from there, and the horses are kept there, and the chickens we get from the um, battery farms, yeah. uh, and they just live there with the feral cats, and mm -hmm. you know, have a you, really good time. I say you, were, you said it originated as, as almost a, a dogs trust to go and sort of pick up dogs in Manchester when, when did, there were a lot yes. of problems there. Do you want to tell us sort of that? Yes. That's quite an interesting story, um, I think. Well, actually, it, it originated from Buxton. Um, one of the um, policemen who was on the beat in Buxton, and it gets very cold in winter mm. in Buxton, um, was a bit worried about this dog that was following him around that he'd started to call Stanley. Um, <laughs> and he decided that he would um, bring the dog over to Windy Way because he knew the Knowles had a number of dogs. Um, and this dog came to live at Windy Way, and that was the start of the rescue, in effect. Um, but uh, it, it started to, uh, um, they realised that there were too many dogs in the house and they had to live in separate rooms because they didn't get on for one yep. reason or another, hence the kennels were built. Um, and then Mr Noel used to go down to Manchester when Salford um, started to pull down the houses and build the high rise. Yeah. Uh, and lots of animals were left around, uh, abandoned. Um, and they collected them up and took them back to Windy Way and found homes for them where they could or kept them if they couldn't. Fantastic. So it, it started from there. Oh, brilliant. I mean, yeah. if people want to get, sort of, if we could stay on the charity, want to get more involved with the charity, can are you looking for volunteers or do you look for people absolutely, to help out? Absolutely, absolutely. You can go up there if you haven't got a dog of your own or you haven't got time to um, have a dog. Yeah. Um, you can go up there and help. You can walk a dog. Um, we have a shop in Macclesfield in Chestergate. Um, and you're most welcome to come and do a couple of hours there. Yeah. Um, we have outdoor events like Windy Stock. Obviously, we'll, we'll be desperate for marshals when we yeah. do run it. Um, so the more the more people that come on board, the better. And I think if you're an animal lover, you know you enjoy it as well. Yeah. So. So if they want to volunteer, the best place is to come down to the shop and actually maybe maybe yes. meet someone there and say hi first and find yes, out more. Absolutely. And if you want to walk a dog, then you have to be over 15 years of age. Right, OK. Um, and go up to Windy Way, fill in the health and safety form, talk to Don and Wendy, uh, yeah. Sally, the uh, kennel manager, and she'll sort you out with a dog that's, you know, nice to walk 
um, and can have a walk around the fields around Windy Way. Beautiful area, absolutely lovely views up there. Really nice place to be, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah. Good stuff. So we're, we'll get on to the actual fundraising, get on to Windy Stock that's coming up. Uh, first and foremost, I know it's been moved, so it was going to be on the 28th. Do you want to tell us now when it's actually going to be, what date it's going to be on? Sure. Uh, it is now moved to the 1st of September, which is Saturday. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, everything's pretty much in place. If people have already bought tickets, we'll honour those tickets. Ah. Um, again, it's what is 12 to 12. It's yep. 12 hours of music and local food and just really, and local beers and Fantastic. really, really good stuff. Uh, so you said it's been running for a number of years. How many years have you been doing Windy Stock for? Uh, this is the third Windy Stock. Okay. Um, it started just a bit of a joke, really, you know, to say, shall we have a, a party in the meadow yeah. um, with a few groups because Don, who lives at Windy Way, also uh, is involved in the group and has a few friends around and they um, occasionally do some gigs. Um, and I said, would it be possible for you to get a few of your friends together? Um, and suddenly it snowballed and we had two stages and we had um, numerous people helping us. Yeah. Uh, Gary the Hat came to help us the first time. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Gary the Hat wasn't available this year because yeah. he had to go off to Denmark. Um, and it worked with acoustic and mm. rock. Talk. That's where I came into yeah. it. He uh, asked me to put together a little acoustic side stage to go, you know, kind of run intermittently. So what, the way we were doing it was, when one band was setting up, the other would be playing so it non-stop music for what twelve hours. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it was madness, but it worked. Brilliant. I was going to say it clearly has worked it because has worked, it, it creates quite a buzz, doesn't it? Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this year, I mean, I know you've got a lot of bands playing. Do you want to sort of tell us about some of the bands and, and the setup? Yeah, we scaled down a little bit this year. Okay. Rather than have the two stages that run intermittently, we're just having the one stage. But then we still have 12 hours of music. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a small acoustic side stage, like a gazebo kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have acts on consistently through the day. But um, yeah, it kind of cuts down on the number of bands. Initially, when we had the two stages, we had 18 bands on, which is a lot. That's a lot of organizing, isn't it, really? That yes. is a lot of managing, um, especially with everybody bands. Everybody was yeah. fantastic, I have to say, over the, the last two, because I was part of, you know, from the beginning. So. Um, everybody who's worked with us has been fantastic and they've all had a great time. We've had so much great feedback yeah. over the years. And of years. course the first year that we had it, the Virgin Marys were our um, yeah. headliners. Oh really? And yeah. they've gone on and on. And yeah. uh, The other day I sent them a message on Facebook to say how well they were doing at the Island White Festival yeah. uh, and congratulations on how well they've done. Um, and of course they said that um, they wouldn't forget their roots and they would come back to oh, Windsor. that's very good. So, yeah, yeah, it's great. Absolutely. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a reputation, you know, yeah. they're very friendly. So. Yeah. so who have you actually got playing this year then? Can, well, now now because of the change of date, it's yep. all kind of, I'm still waiting to hear back from everybody, confirmed. Ah, really. right, okay. But I can say confirmed, we've got uh, the local band Hot Vestry. Headline, Real, and yeah. And they're yeah. just fantastic. I've uh, done several gigs with them, I've, you know, over the last year in, in the area, at, yeah. you know, different local pubs like the Swan with Tunex and the Millstone and things. And they played at Barnaby Festival, mm -hmm. uh, Stuart Bailey from Trackside Record, uh, Recording Studios. And I put together a little music festival in the town centre and they played for us and it was fantastic. They were, they were wonderful. So yeah. we're looking forward to that very much. We've got a couple of bands from Manchester, uh, one called Loaded Message and one called Kill for Company, yeah. which are I met through Chris. Yeah, so. there are a couple of friends. So that'll be great for a little bit of diversity, you know, bringing in different crowds because Macclesfield's easy enough to get to from Manchester. Absolutely. So. But yeah, and um, I mean, we've got, um, gosh. <laughs> No, and I say, not to blank. play your own trumpet, no it's fine, don't yeah. we? But are you going to be playing? Because I know I you're am. actually part yeah. of a band, aren't yes, you? Mars I am. Black. Mars, yeah, Mars Black. So are you guys going to be playing? We are, yes. Yes, Fantastic. in some form or fashion. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, because of the change of date and everything, I'm just waiting for everybody to confirm before yeah. I get to, you know. No, of course, but there's going to be plenty out. for everyone, in fact. Absolutely, absolutely. So there may be some changes, and unfortunately, some people already have said that they can't make it, and that's unfortunate. But we might. Do something, knock up an, a little event in the meantime, just to right. kind of catch everybody who can't make it. So there's always an excuse to have a gig. Yes. <laughs> always. But we also have people who weren't available at the time who yes. will be available. So it's kind of, it's yeah. a, like Don said, it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of my they're in a lot of trouble. Right. And it's an inconvenience. But, it, you know, we've got to pick the good out of it, really. Absolutely. Yes. So on that note, if people do want to come along, are there tickets still available if people yes. want to buy them? Yes. Martin Music. 
um, in the middle of town. Yeah. Uh, Windyway Shop on yeah. Chesgate, Trackside Studios, mm -hmm. and that's on Elizabeth Street. Um, and uh, that's entertainment uh, on Cattle Street. Okay, and how much are tickets? £15 each. £15, pounds, good value for that amount very, of music, yeah, absolutely. Very. Uh, and you said beforehand that if people want to, they can make almost an evening of it as well. So there's camping there, isn't there, as well? Yes, and a breakfast kitchen. Oh, is there? So, yes. I can see it's your face, it clearly is a very good breakfast. Oh, does it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So to make the most of it, actually, you might as well camp over as well. It's only a couple of pounds, isn't it, I think? Yeah, three pounds. Um, and you have to book because uh, we overdid it a bit last time and there wasn't very much room between the tents. So it's okay. a small space. Um, and parking this year is going to be very limited because um, we haven't got control of the car park this year, so okay. people are going to have to find their own way up there and you know sort out their own parking. Really, I have been in touch with one of our local taxi services, though, so it's very possible. Fingers crossed that we'll sort it out that we can have a oh, taxi yes. continually running, running from some you know oh, convenient place good, in the yeah. hospital, you know in in town centre, most likely maybe around the train station, and then. Leave everybody up to anyway for a reasonable price. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I hope it goes really well. Thank you very much for coming Thank in you. and talking Thank to you. us about it. If you want to find out more about Windy Stock, you can go into any of the places that I've mentioned. You can also, I'm sure, get onto uh, the internet, some look at the back, look at some of the bands that have been mentioned, and we'll try and get them on the air very soon as well. Very shortly, they're going on with Mike on the local music lowdown. So make sure you also check them out on there. Your music, your station, CY4Y Radio.